Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1489. Hey, in this video, we got to see how to use two VLOOKUP functions in one formula to calculate the correct volume discount product price. And this is the formula we're going to use. And yes, indeed, we're going to use one exact match VLOOKUP and one approximate match VLOOKUP in the same formula. Now let's go over to the sheet 1489. Now on this sheet, we have our transaction data set, and we need the unit price. Now if we were just looking up the correct product and retrieving the correct price from this price lookup table, it would be easy enough. But these prices are actually not the correct discounted price. They're the correct standard price before we apply a discount for quantity. So for 30, that means we look down to the second approximate match lookup table. And we race through until we find the right category. Now the way VLOOKUP will work is it will take that 30, race through the first column. When it bumps into the first one bigger, it will jump back. And know this is the correct row, and that's the correct discount. So for each transaction in this data set, we're going to have to look up price and discount. Now let's just look up price first. So I'm going to click in the top cell, equals VL. I see VLOOKUP highlighted in blue, so I hit the Tab key. The lookup value, that is the product price as a relative cell reference. Now I type a comma. The entire lookup table, I highlight not the field names at the top, but the first column that VLOOKUP will use for matching and all the subsequent columns used for looking things up. Now we're going to copy this formula, so I need to hit the F4 key to lock that, comma. Now we need to tell VLOOKUP which column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, has the thing I want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Well, I'm counting on my fingers, and I get 5. That's the column with the price where I want VLOOKUP to retrieve it and bring back to the cell. So I'm entering a 5 for column index, comma. Now we have to choose between the two different types of lookup. Exact match, that means it will find exactly those characters as an exact match in the first column, or approximate match, which we'll use in our next example. Now, when we want to tell VLOOKUP to do exact match, you can either simply double click false and put it in, or you can type a 0. I'm typing a 0. Both false and 0 instruct VLOOKUP to do an exact match. Now, this isn't quite what we want, but Control-Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. And then I'm going to double click with my crosshair or angry rabbit to send that formula down. Now, before we verify at the bottom that that's the correct formula, notice it's giving me the right price. But now I need to add the correct unit discount, so F2. Watch this. I'm going to totally cheat just to show you that we're doing two VLOOKUPs. I'm going to copy this in edit mode. And watch this. I'm going to use Control-CC to open up the clipboard. Now, if Control-CC doesn't copy and open up the clipboard for you, you actually have to manually open up the clipboard up here by clicking that. And then set your options down here for Control-C press twice opens up the clipboard. Now, watch this. It's already highlighted, so I'm going to do my next VLOOKUP, VL tab. Notice I have my price lookup over there later that I can use and paste it into our formula. Now, the lookup value, I'm going to look up quantity. This is just to get to the discount part, comma. The table array, I'm going to highlight the entire table. Hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. Discount is in the 1, 2, the second column, so I type a 2, comma. Now, for approximate match, first off, what does approximate match do? Well, it takes whatever the number is, races through until it bumps into the first bigger one, jumps back a row, and that's how it knows to get the correct discount. Now, technically, it does a binary search, but understanding that it races through the first column and bumps into the first bigger one is an easy way to understand how approximate match works. Remember, first column has to be sorted. Now, you can either put a true, a 1, or leave it omitted. I'm not going to even put it in. I'm going to backspace. That way, when I leave it out, 
VLOOKUP by default knows to do approximate match. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now it's giving me the correct discount. But remember, what's a discount? That means for every $1 in the price, you get 40 pennies off, 55 pennies off. So that's not what we want. We want 40 pennies subtracted from a dollar. So F2 to put it in edit mode. And right after the equal sign, open parentheses 1 minus our VLOOKUP. I come to the end with my I-beam cursor, click, and type a close parentheses. Now I have what I want, a dollar minus however many pennies discount I had. Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now I have what I want, 60 pennies, 45 pennies times whatever the price is. That will give us what we want. F2 to put it in edit mode. Type a multiplication symbol, and then I'm going to use the clipboard. So I come over here, and I click on it to paste it. And there I have my two V lookups, exact and approximate. Control Enter. That's the correct volume discount product price. Double click and send it down. Now, one other thing, and this is totally dependent on how you do your pricing and calculations in your business for total revenue. If it should remain unrounded, then we're done. But if this price should be rounded to the penny, then we have one more step. In the top cell, watch this. I'm not even going to click in the top cell. I have the column highlighted. The active cell at the top, I hit F2. Now I'm going to officially round. That entire thing is just a number, so I can put it in the round function. Now watch this, R-O-U. Right now, if I hit Tab to accept that blue round function, it actually is not polite. It'll steal that parentheses. So watch this, Tab. It totally took the parentheses there, and I don't want that. I need that parentheses, so I have to remember to type open parentheses. Now, if I click on number, all of that is just a number I need rounded. So I very carefully come to the end. And with my I-beam cursor, I click comma. We are rounding to the penny. That number digits means which position do you want to round to. So penny, I'm putting from the right of the decimal, 1, 2. That's the penny position, so I type a 2. Close parentheses. Now, notice I've edited the formula in the active cell. And because I already have the range pre-selected, if I want to populate the entire column with the edited formula, I simply Control Enter. And there is our unit price, discounted properly and rounded properly. Now I'm going to Control Down Arrow and go to the last cell and hit the F2 key. I'm just verifying that the cell references are all pointing to the correct location. And they are. Escape, Control Home to jump back to cell A1. All right, F2, we saw how to use V lookup approximate match to get the correct discount. We subtracted it from 1 and then multiplied it by exact match V lookup with the correct product price. And we rounded if that, in fact, is necessary. Now, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.